So welcome back today. I want to talk about k-means clustering. So what is k-means clustering? Clustering means grouping similar items or data points together. And k-means is a specific algorithm to compute such a clustering. So what are those data points that we may want to cluster? These can be arbitrary points. These could be 3D points recorded with a LiDAR scanner, so points in our 3D world. This could be color values in an image. This could be SIF features extracted from an image, for example, to build a back of words dictionary. Just see them as arbitrary vectors in space. And what you want to do is you have a large number of those vectors or those points in the space, and you want to represent them with a small number of representatives. How should those representatives look like? And k-means is a very simple and popular algorithm to compute such a clustering. Um, it's typically an unsupervised process. That means we do not need any labels uh, such as classification problems. The only thing we need to know is actually a distance function. So a function that tells us how far two data points are apart from each other. In the simplest form, this could be the Euclidean distance, but depending on your application, you may also want to select a different distance function. And based on this distance function, we can make the decision if two data points should be similar to each other, so belonging to the same cluster, or not. So um, what k-means does, it basically represents all the data points with k representatives. And this is also which gave it the algorithm its name. So k is a user-defined number which we put into the system, for example, take all the data points out there and represent them with three points in space. So if we, for example, have here in this example the um, gray circles, which are our input data points, and we say k equals 3, so we want to represent those data points with three different representatives. Then those representatives here illustrated by the colored um, rectangles are one solution for those representatives and the corresponding assignments of data points to those representatives. And k-means does it in a way that it minimizes the square distance between the data point and its closest centroid or representative. And it basically sums, minimizes the sum of all those squared distances over all our data points. This is kind of the mathematical optimization that the k-means algorithm is doing. So how does k-means work? It's basically an algorithm which has two steps. After we randomly initialize these centroids or these representatives, what k-means does, it computes a data association of every data point to the closest centroid. So it's basically the nearest neighbor query um, that we are doing here. So every data point gets assigned to its closest centroid. And then we iterate over the centroids and recompute the location of that centroid in, um, our, uh, in our space. And this is simply done by computing the mean configuration or the mean um, vector out of all the data points assigned to that centroid. And this changes the location of that centroid. So in the next iteration of the algorithm, we will get a new assignment and then a new centroid location. And we repeat this process until convergence. And when we converge, so if the data station, for example, doesn't change anymore, then we have found one possible explanation. We should note, however, that this is not an optimal algorithm. So k-means tries to minimize this function, but we are not guaranteed to find a global minimum. So depending on your starting location, you may end up with a different result for your k-means clustering. So it's not an optimal approach. And if you want to implement that in a fast manner, you typically need to have an approximate nearest neighbor function in your space because this is the most time-consuming operation that you're doing in this algorithm. But with this fairly simple two-step approach, which is iterated, we are able to find representatives for a potentially large number of data points in high dimensional or low dimensional spaces. I hope that was useful and gave you an idea what clustering and specifically k-means is. Thank you very much for your attention.